everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a Wicked makeup tutorial and I couldn't decide if I wanted to be Alphaba or Galinda, so I decided to be both. This is not really a tutorial, more of just like experimenting, trying out how to do this, so I'm not a professional makeup artist, just trying to do a look. So this is more of a try out makeup with me being theatrical. I don't know. I saw Wicked last week and I was just like obsessed with it. So anyways, I start off by taking off the rest of my makeup, any excess makeup. And I saw some of my eyes, but whatever. I'm like terrible taking off my makeup. <sighs> Not what the video is about, people. All right. So the first thing I do, because my skin is like crazy. I look crazy in this video, but whatevs. Um, the first thing I do is stand up and look for the product I'm going to use. Sorry about the tubs in the background too. So distracting. I just like did not even realize that you could like see all that. So my bad. This is very interesting. Look at that neck girth though. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, we're just gonna like leave this in because I see I'm about to do something. Okay. So I'm using the Mac NC20, which is a shade lighter. I'm gonna do about half my face. Literally just eyeballing it. No rhyme, reason, structure on how to do it. Just eyeballing it. And I'm going to put the MAC Studio Fix all over the half of my face. That is going to be the pretty Galinda half. And I was just drawing like a line with some like weird brush. And then with my Tarte Airbrush Foundation brush, I'm just buffing it out. Kind of like I would with my normal foundation. I'm doing it a little more cakier since it is a shade lighter. Only to show like that real big contrast between the green and the um, pale skin. And sometimes I'm this pale, believe it or not. So, yeah. Um, so after that's done, I just kind of buff it out. And then I use the Smash, Smashbox Pressed Powder Foundation in number one. It's like the lightest shade. And I set my foundation. So basic routine right here. This is kind of like be a pretty makeup routine if you want because it's really not character or costume. It's like me just doing makeup. And then I put that over and set it. So it's nice and flawless because she's perfect. You're perfect. So we're perfect together. Sorry, I won't sing on this one. Um, <laughs> then I use my Painterly Paint Pot, which I love, and I put it all over my eyelid. And I was getting a little happy with it. Put a little excess on it, so <laughs> wipe that off with just like a makeup wipe or whatever you would like. And I do prefer Painterly over Soft Oak Grub. Someone had asked me that in a last video. Um, just because I think it makes your eyeshadows pop more. As opposed to soft okra, I think it tones it down more. But just two different looks. That's just my opinion. My two cents are free. Um, who sent? Who sent? You sent for me? <laughs> okay, then I use this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, which I love for my contouring every day. But it's actually really pretty eyeshadow. So I'm just taking this, like, peachy one. It's a great nude, and it kind of neutralizes your eye. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous base color. And I'm really keeping this look simple because I just wanted to have a natural eye. But, like, obviously not natural. Like, have it pop a little bit. And then I take the medium bronzer, and I use it as my crease cut. My cut crease, my cut crease color or blending color, and I just kind of do a windshield wiper motion by flicking my bean. No, just kidding. <laughs> by flicking my shadow back and forth, and that's pretty much it. Like I'm not doing anything too intricate. Then we are going to move on to the eyeliner. I had this put up more than I thought I was going to give you guys a headache, so I slowed it down, and now I feel like. Um, back on the Kat Von D kick, I'm using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. I love this so much. It's really, really easy to use. I really am bad at eyeliner, but this is just the easiest way to apply. It's just kind of like effortless. It's a felt tip marker, and I'm going to wing that liner out, um, mostly just because I like winged liner at the moment. I'm not saying like Galinda has winged eyeliner, but I feel like she would. You know, I feel like she would, have, like, rock it out for sure. And then I'm not going to use any black eyeliner for the bottom eye. Instead, I'm going to use white eyeliner to open up my eye. And I just got this from Wet n Wild because I rarely use white eyeliner, so there's no point, like, spending a bunch of money on it. So I just got, like, a cheapy one from the drugstore, and it works just fine. And it kind of just opens up your eye, makes it more doll-like and beautiful. And a Kat Von D mascara. Got this at Sephora. Kat Von D is just kind of like my ish at the moment. Like, I just love her makeup line. It's great quality. It lasts forever. Like, seriously, her stuff, like, lasts forever. I still have, like, locket foundations from, like, three years ago that still, like, work amazing. And I'm just coating my upper lashes as well because I got some painterly pink pot on it earlier. So, covering up my lashes. I am going to be applying falsies later, so I'm, like, not a biggie. But, you know, just to kind of make them pop, pop, pop. 
Now I'm using the Anastasia Brow Palette and apparently bouncing out. I was listening to the Wicked soundtrack while I was doing this to get inspired. And I'm using my normal caramel color that I normally use to fill in my brows and I'm just going over them lightly. Not really doing any extra shape, just kind of making them more defined because I'm defining gravity and my eyebrows. And by the way, it's 8.30 in the morning when I'm recording this voiceover, so my voice is a little cracked. This Tarte blush palette is life. It is literally everything. I love it so, so much. And I'm going to be just taking that middle color. It's like this like pinky rose dust color, and I'm just going to be generously applying it all over my cheek like a little munchkin. Even though Galinda's not technically a munchkin, I feel like she would be one of the munchkins. Um, it kind of looks like a Bach cheek or something, or like a Tim Hansen cheek. Now for the fun part, Miss Alphaba. This is Star Blend like makeup by Mayron and I just got it off Amazon. I just typed in like green face makeup. It was one of the first ones that came up and I'm using that same tart brush because I obviously have to wash it anyways and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing I did with my normal, quote unquote normal, what is normal foundation and um, I'm doing it with my green foundation and um, I just noticed you had to build it up. It starts out pretty light but you can get it as dark. You can keep it light. The light was pretty. I thought the light was like cute but I kind of wanted to go darker and I think I almost went a little too dark because it kind of almost turned into like military army camouflage sort of makeup but it's really cool whatever like you know not a professional as I stated earlier and I just kind of buff that out and yeah kind of got a half and half kind of then I'm just taking my MAC makeup palette and using carbon which is my favorite black eyeshadow I don't know like carbon is just like the end all be all for black eyeshadows, I think. And oh no, JK not using carbon, using this like light green yellow. Totally forgot I did this. Um, and I'm highlighting the inner corners on my eye because I wanted to make Alpha but pretty. She does become prettier throughout the show. Like she gets a makeover, but then she becomes even prettier at the end. And um, then I took a darker green to again just sort of define my eyes so it doesn't look like camouflage, like I'm trying to like blend in, which it kind of still did, but that's when I take my carbon to really define it and I give her a little cut crease because you know she gotta be glam too you know blend it out girl blend it out Elphaba and I kind of did the same thing except I just went a little more heavy handed with it and made her eyelid a little bigger as well because I think it's just cute when you do character makeup to make your eyes really big so I'm just working it in there and it could actually be a really pretty color without the green foundation you could probably do this for your regular eye look if you don't want to like go out with a green face but I wear this eye those eye looks out I just took the green foundation off, so yeah, and then just build it up in the outer V and just make it as dramatic as you would like. Personally, I find that I like my alpha butt a little drag queen, if you will. <laughs> um, but yeah, she becomes prettier after she and Fiero bang, so <laughs> this is post-coitus with Fiero. <laughs> uh, love Wicked. I'm just like so obsessed. I'm like going to write Wicked fan fiction. Um, but like, not kidding. I actually did. Um... <laughs> Then we are going to finish off her eye look with some eyeliner as well. And she's going to get the same eyeliner as Gutlinda, except that we're going to make it a little more bold and a little more dramatic just to kind of do, you know, the differences between the two. And she's getting a bigger wing because she takes off in flight because she flies. And she doesn't just come and go by bubble as she pleases. <laughs> she has her broom stick. Much like my hair. My hair looks like a broomstick. Guys, I'm getting it fixed like next week. Then I'm taking this MAC liner, which I didn't really like. I don't know what this one was, but I did not like it. So I changed it out for another MAC liner. But I don't know what this one was. I was having the hardest time. It was just like too chubby of a pencil. And it was like poking me in the eye, as you can see. I don't know. It like wasn't my thing. So anyways, I grabbed the wrong one, long story short. And then I grabbed a better one. This was more of a crayon tip. So, um... When I say crayon tip, I mean not like a marker. I don't know. I'm like really bad. Why am I doing makeup on YouTube? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but this one worked out better. And I don't know what this one is either. Oh, so sorry. I don't know. I honestly don't love MAC liners for my bottom liner. Let's just put it that way. I'd rather use Clinique's very black crayon eyeliner. They don't have to sharpen. It's just softer. And then I just overlined my previous eyeliner to deepen it, darken it, richen it. And yeah, just finishing up my eyeball. Then we go to my Anastasia Brow Palette. And there is a black shade that I've never used in this palette. And now I know why it's in there. If you need to turn yourself into a witch. And so with this, I kind of am going over just my basic brow. But I'm also pushing it a little higher to give it a little bit of a thicker brow. Maybe more unkempt sort of looking brow. 
uglier brow. I hate the word ugly, but you know, just making it a little more haggard is a good word for it. And I got a package. Um, <laughs> finishing up my brows because eyebrow game has to be on fleek. And then I'm going to be taking that to carbon and using it as my contour. And I love this NARS contour brush, which I'm going to have to wash because I just put black on it. But I loved the way it, like, defined when I saw the show. I noticed that Alphabet had a contour, and it was a black contour, and I was, like, really digging it. So I'm going to contour my cheekbones and a little bit of my forehead to make it look like she's not just a green face like Jim Carrey in the mask. <laughs> All this kind of made it look more army, like camouflage-y sort of look. And then define her chin. Because Alpha don't want a fat chin now either. And then getting peanut butter out of my teeth, apparently. <laughs> that was a real attractive face. And then I go on to the eyelashes, which I think make any look. And so I picked two different eyelashes. For Galinda, I decided to go with a wispier lash. And kind of a key for applying fake lashes is get it tacky. So if you noticed there, I kind of was like blowing on it for a couple minutes, just letting it dry. Don't apply it wet. It's just easier to work with. And then you can also use some tweezers if you need to push down some areas. And for Gu, no, Alphaba. <laughs> I just want to say Galinda again. For Alphaba, I went with a more dramatic fuller lash. Again, just to show like the contrast and not like she just had some sort of disease on half of her face. So with this, again, blowing on it and apply it in the middle. Oh, or sing. Have a dance break in the middle. <laughs> so glad that this, I detached the audio because Lord knows no one wants to hear that. Start in the middle and then apply the edges down to make sure that they stick. The little buggers. A little too much glue on this eye, but whatever. <laughs> tomato, tomato does not apply to this, but <laughs> just, there you go. They're on and then my hair, my weave. Looking a little busted, but whatevs. <laughs> Not worried about the hair. Now for the fun lips. Uh, these are both Lime Crime lipsticks, and they are in Bebet and Serpentina. And Bebet, I am putting on one half, the pretty half. And I actually love this lipstick for every day. After this tutorial, I kind of like just became obsessed and like <laughs> use it as my everyday um, lipstick. And I just think it's really pretty. No lip liner or gloss needed. It's just like a nice pinky peach without it being like too nude or too pink. And I think it's beautiful. And then Serpentina I rarely use because it is a green lipstick. But I loved the color so much when I saw it at IMATS years ago that I just like had to get it. It's like very Emerald City. It's very gorge. And I just, I really like it. So the other half is green. Um, I've seen people use black lipsticks for Alphaba as well, but I noticed on the tour of Wicked, she had green lips and I thought that was really cool. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have green lipsticks. That was kind of too perf not to use. And again, just doing the half and half theme that I did with my face. Avs. Avi. And that is your completed Wicked look. The Sisters, but they're not sisters. The friends of Oz before the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, look at that hair, though. Like, ugh. You need to wash it, though. And, yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now you can decide if you are a good witch or are you a bad witch. <laughs> I'm a little bit of both. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Hi to Rick Moranis. Until next time, here are my kissies for my little baby fishies. Bye, guys. Alfie, now that we're friends, I decided to make you my new project. You really don't have to do that. I know. That's what makes me so nice.